Firsties are the new Fridays, guys. Oh yes, and welcome to this weekend's vlog. Yes, it is Thursday, but I'm down in all places of Aldi. Look at that, Aldi. Look over there. Because I've just come out of work with uh, a colleague who says, do you want to come to Aldi with me? <laughs> because Kevin the Carrot and all that have been released today. So I've come down because he wants to go in there and get Kevin the Carrot. Yes, apparently it's something he does every year and he clicks them, he clicks the... And he's really excited about something called William the Conquer. Now let's get in there, see if they've got any, eh? Is that sign you want? Yeah, I do actually, I'm gonna get him. Can I have a, just have him? So this is the one you've come to get. I'll come to get it, amazing. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I want the little one though. There he is, that's a little one. No, that's the grape. Augustus the grape. Oh, not Gilbert then. I'll get him anyway, I'll get him anyway. <laughs> What about them little carrot? Oh, you've got the little got carrot the little and the carrot. carrot ones, and I've got the little it's ones. a golden carrot, or yeah. it's a parsnip. Oh, very good. Um, you've got this quite the collection now, haven't you? This is what I've got in it. Gilbert the Grape. There you go. How much you spent? They're not actually that dear, are they? Uh, they all goes to charity, so it's... Yeah, it's all Teenage Cancer it. Trust, yeah. so it's very good. It is good. Yeah, tap right. away. Yeah, good stuff. Well done, Gaza. And as we were leaving the store, this giant Kevin the Carrot, but he wasn't interested in that one. And of course, a photo opportunity. So I got in on the action. Me and Kevin the Carrot, guys. Oh, yes. Christmas is coming. So there we have it, people. All these um, toy range. Uh, all goes towards Teenage Cancer Trust, which is the same charity me and Nick were supporting with them decorations we did. So, a very good shout, Gazza. Did you get everything you wanted? No. no. What did so, you miss out on? Well, there's quite a few that, that went there. We've only got the basic ones, so I'll have to, uh, I'll have to buy them on Google, or sorry, on uh, oh, eBay no. or something. Oh, no. You'll have to pay over the top then, bud. Yeah, we'll have to pay over the top of those. Oh, mate. I've anyway. only bought one of each, no, I've not bought like other people do, buy loads of them and sell they, them. They, they sell, and I'll be honest, I was quite surprised at the price of them. I didn't think they were expensive. I suppose they're designed for kids, really. Yeah. Yeah, not for <laughs> grown men going in buying the collections. Ho oh, hum. Anyway, well done, Gaza. It's your bit for charity. So this is uh, said collection in his office. Right, here we go. <laughs> look at them. Look at them all. Look. Look. Have you ever seen such a vast collection of Kevin Carrots and and all these soft toy memorabilia? Oh, mate. <laughs> Just home from work, people, on a Thursday evening. Stopped in at Asda and got myself some nice cans of Heineken. Oh, yes, these are the large cans. One pint cans. I've got four of them for the evening. And uh, for my tea tonight, I've got these. Look, I was in, I was in town earlier, as you as you might have seen them. Oh, lovely crusty rolls. They are really, really sort of the nice aerated, proper old crusty rolls from the baker. And to go in them, I've got myself a couple of lovely beef burgers. I'm not having chips or anything. Just a couple of nice beef burgers, a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know the style, guys. Anyway, it's Thursday. It is the new Friday. So what am I doing tonight? Not a lot. I'm just going to have a few beers, watch a bit of telly. I've got a bit of editing to do for tomorrow's video. Get that finished. But uh, it's looking good. We'll get there, I am sure. So, guys, anyway. Onwards and upwards. I've uh, got my colour schemes for me next bit. Next bit of painting in the kitchen. That won't be this weekend, no. Although the weather is looking absolutely atrocious for Saturday. But I do need to get out. I need to go and buy some games, man. Happy Friday, people. Working from home today due to them electrical works going on. But this has arrived from Amazon. Bitmap Books. Uh, 1999, this uh, hardback. Nice thick book. Um, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, a visual guide, okay? Obviously, anyone who watches my channel know I love the Spectrum. It's probably my fondest system growing up. But let's crack it open. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It looks bloody good. 
All right, some memories are gonna come back on this one. So here we go, guys, a little quiz for you guys. Let's see how many of these I can actually remember or name. Ant attack. Don't know. I should know, but I don't. That looks like a D for Darrell Software. Not sure about that one, but it looks nice and sharp. Ikari Warriors, Horace Ghost Skiing, Gauntlet. Oh, Knight, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, he's from um, uh, Night Law, is it? Night Law, something like Paperboy. <laughs> Golf, uh, Manic Miner. Not sure about that one. Uh, obviously, a Key from the Spectrum. Don't know. S from the Sinclair. R Type. Great conversion that was. Uh, U from Ultimate Play the Game. Don't know what that one is. Don't know. Xevious? Xevious? Don't know. I recognise that, but I can't see what it is. Why? Is that from Ye Are Kung Fu? Looks like it. So that's the cover. Let's get it unsealed. Let's take a look inside. Crack this open. Looks very good quality. Very neat. Nice sleeve. Wow. <laughs> Check out that colour, guys. There we go. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Oh, I like that. There it is. Look, broken down. Lots of information about the spectrum in this. Lots of pages. Loads of iconic images. Oh, yes. The Hobbit. I had that. I never got very far, but we were all massive Tolkien fans in school because we were into D&D &D and all that. Football Manager. I loved Football Manager. Put hours into that one. And you kept playing Sinclair User Magazine or it goes skiing. But you get the idea. Honestly, this book for the money. Oh, Turbo Esprit. What a game that was. Honestly, this is my first bitmap book. And I have to say, I am so impressed at the quality of that. Look at that. Oh, yes. This is going to bring back some happy memories. Such great print this. And only 1999. That's a really, really good um, quality book, that one. How many pages is that? It's, it's a thick old book. Oh, there we go. That's 269 there. Get the back. 297. So just over 300 pages in that. Look at that. Happy days. I'm going to enjoy reading this one. Friday afternoon stroke evening people. Work is complete. I am now in my local high street. Well, about to go in the high street. Where I am going for a pint. <laughs> but you already knew that. Oh yes. Back from the town guys, had a nice few beers with my mate Al. Boy, it's good to see Al when he gets out. So happy days. I'm gonna have myself a Heineken now, pint can. Got some Stellas there, which I just purchased. So I ain't running out of beer any time soon oh no 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 so a bit of gaming tonight so uh no i'm not getting out in the games room but last week i treated myself to a game on the nintendo switch the new mario games will give that a play guys so it's like oh good hopes well it's mario they don't do that wrong do they or do they purchased this last weekend it's still sealed, not played it yet. And I've got the Switch out. I've not played my Switch in quite a while. It normally sits next to my bed. So uh, I'm going to give this a play, see if it's any good. And I'm sure it's going to be. And uh, probably give it a play most evenings. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Just broke the seal. No instruction manual. <laughs> Mate, am I getting old for games or what? Look how small this is. <laughs> Let's get in there. So we were playing this last night and I, I was dozing, guys. I was falling asleep. So uh, as you can see, it's Mario in all his cuteness. First impressions are very good. And I like the fact it's a 2D player. Yeah, I do enjoy Mario in 2D. So I'm probably a good hour into it now. And I have to say, it's a, it's a jolly good game, guys. It's, um, yeah... It's what you come to expect. It's Super Mario. I like the 2D Super Mario games, to be honest. It's cutesy graphics. It's cutesy sound. It's cutesy everything, as you'd expect. But what I love about Mario games is how they introduce new things every time you play. You know, it never surprises you. It's just Nintendo. It's just great. So uh, thank you for recommending this, people. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's going to stay next to my bed, this one. I think most evenings I'll probably give it a half-hour play before nodding off to the land of sleep. Oh, yes. Saturday afternoon, people. I had a little lay-in this morning. 
Uh, popped over the island, bit of shopping, been to the farm shop, bought some nice interesting bits there. Had some interesting dog bits there with fur and stuff. And uh, yeah, bit of shopping for me and the missus. Nice bit of lamb tomorrow, I reckon, for me dinner. So I'm gonna go and have a look, see if I can get a nice bit of lamb. Slam it in the oven. So guys, just been over the island, done a bit of shopping, and as you can see, them old clouds, oh yes. I bought my mum a little present, so we're gonna go and drop that off at mum. And then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get out to the games rooms. It looks like a bomb has gone off in there. So I've gotta do some cleaning up, because looking at that weather, guys, I ain't going far a day, you know what I mean? So I might just go back, have a few beers in the games room, a good tidy up, and uh, yeah, I might play some games. But look, we're just coming up over the bridge, guys. Nice view at the top, if we can see over the railing, which we probably will. Um, so I will show you the view from the bridge. And uh, we live not far the other side on, on the, the, the mainland, not the island side. Um, yeah, here we go. Now this bridge you can see just the top of the old bridge there. That's been used in quite a few films of late. They've been filming now. I don't know if you can see it over the barrier or not. Probably not. Just a bit. I've got my camera woman on the job, Mrs. OG. She's doing a fine job. That's it. That's the King's Ferry Bridge. See a bit of water there. So that's your little history lesson there, guys. Uh, that's the original bridge. But we're now on the big newish bridge, which made the news a few years ago before COVID, because it was one of the world's biggest um, <laughs> multi-car pile-ups on this bridge. It was foggy and everyone just carried on racing at the usual speed and of course two cars clashed and then literally the whole bridge all the way along, all the way back, uh, was one mass pile-up. I think 180 cars or something were really good. It's, uh, it made the worldwide news. Anyway, fact of the day for you. I'm off to Mummy OG. Just pop round me mum's and this is my gift to her, look. Yes, some stalked, um, stalked um, Brussels sprouts. Now, as you might say, this is not much of a gift, but the other day she'd gone on and on. I can't get fresh Brussels sprouts. So I saw this, right, in the, in the shop and I thought, it'd be rude not to, guys, wouldn't it? Can't get much fresher than that. Oh, yes. Half past four on a Saturday afternoon, early evening, I suppose, isn't it, really? Uh, I've just come out to the games room, popped the heater on, so it's probably what you can hear. There's a sound going over this. Um, Got to leave that going for a bit. And uh, I think we're going to have a Chinese takeaway tonight, so I'll probably nip out in a minute, go and pick up a Chinese takeaway. Might have a pint while I'm waiting for it. And then I'm going to come back here tonight and I'm going to play a few um, games in the games room. A few of your suggestions, actually. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find the games that you suggested and uh, yeah, have a few plays. Fancy a few arcade games tonight. Um, that new Mario game, that'll be getting some play, but that'll be probably, as I say, living next to my bed. So we'll be getting a play of an evening and stuff and uh, might have another couple of rounds of fight night. You never know. But I want to try something new as well on the PS3 or I might go for a Wii U game because, I mean, I'm getting all these Wii U titles, but I'm not playing many of them. So let's go and see what the hype's all about with some of them Wii U titles. I mean, you know, I've got, I've got a fair few to choose from, haven't I? <laughs> oh, yes, I have. So, guys, uh, yeah. And in terms of tidying up, it's not as untidy in here as I thought it was. So I'll probably have a t quick tidy up now while my heater's, you know, warming the room up. And uh, I think then I'll come back and then I'll crack on with the arcade games. After my dinner, of course. One other thing as well I need to do this evening. I need to go through all the shout-outs for the Christmas decorations. And I thought about it. I'm going to do a shout-outs video, right? But not just that. I'm going to get little OG out here tomorrow. And we're going to have a bit of one-on-one -on -one gaming. I'm going to be taking him on, right? Uh, and I'm going to do the shout-outs during that. Because obviously not everyone's getting a shout-out. So if you don't get shout-outs, there's no point in watching. So I'm going to do something else alongside the shout-outs to get people interested. Uh, yeah, so what games to play? Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, of course. We'll throw some of that in there. Other one versus one games, King of Fighters. Uh, I think there are other games that aren't just fighting games that we can do. I'll just do high score challenges, maybe Pac Man, that sort of thing. Oh well, be a laugh, won't it? <sighs> so get me dinner. Popped in the local shop next to the Chinese first, and they do do some strong strong beers in here and then off to pick up the chinese happy days out in the games room to play a few games now uh, i've had a couple of suggestions guys in the week 
uh, with comments on videos, and one of them was to play Phoenix, <coughs> and that was from you guys, and that was, who said that one? Uh, that was Pete Silvers and Andrew Donny. Oh, sorry, Andrew Denny. Denny, sorry, buddy. Uh, anyway, Phoenix, both of you guys suggested that. It's a game I am aware of, and I seem to remember, I think, from the Atari VCS days, probably more than arcade. So uh, we'll go and give Phoenix a play. Good old classic shoot 'em up. Thanks for the suggestion, guys. See if it's as good as I recall. Don't have many memories of this on the arcade, so I'll be interested to give a play. Thanks for the suggestion. Pete Silvers and Andrew Denny recommended this. Now, I recognise the tune, actually. <laughs> Pretty dramatic. Uh, good old classic shoot up, innit? Sort of similar to Glaxion, the way they come down. You have this shield, though. Now, if you press the shield, it only lasts for so long, but you can't move when the shield's on. You have to stay static. Oof. Oh, he nearly had me. Oh, I thought I had him then. He's irritating me. Yes. Uh, up to the next level. Okay, the change colour. Of course, lucky there, weren't I? Jammy as, mate. I do remember this on the Atari. This must was it. This ever on the Atari VCS? It does ring a bell. Yeah, the giant birds. I think you can blow their wings off. That's it. You have to get dead centre like that, between their legs, and it gets them. So you have to shoot them between the legs. Very nice. Yeah, this is this is giving me some memories. I do remember this from something. More of them dodgy eagles. Oh, I just, just pressed the shield button. Just missed out my shield. Here they come. Yes. Whew. It's a tough game. Ah, uh, I remember this. And I'll tell you where I remember this from. I don't think it was the Atari. I think it was my ZX Spectrum. I'm so focused on that. I'm not focusing on the aliens. Uh, from my ZX Spectrum, I'm sure I had something like this on the Specky. Oh, you plonker, Rob. You plonker. I tell you what, this is all coming back to me. This is good, good fun. I want to defeat that guy in that 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 UFO now. I want to get him. Another go. Another go. Oh, oh, that was close. I tell you. Oh, I'm. Oh dear. This is a tough game. It reminds me a lot of uh, Galaxian. In a good way. Oh, what happened there? I only shot half of him, left the other half. Oh, I nearly pressed my shield then. Yes. Yeah, I'll have one. Oh, we're back to them, the, the giant eagles. Oh, oh, that was so lucky. I'll tell you what, I was lucky there. I hope these ain't birds of prey that are, that are endangered species. I think the only thing endangered here is me. <laughs> there he is. Come on. Oh, you cheeky. I ain't sucking back in. Oh, he's hard to get. That was suicidal. Mate, I haven't played this in an age, but it, it, it's so, so good. Thanks for that recommendation, guys. Drop any recommendations you have for old arcade games in the comments, please. I love playing these things. Brilliant. Great job, Phoenix. Well done. Andrew Denny also um, recommended this golf. 
Now, this is a game I don't play enough of, really. I am aware of it quite a lot, because there was a guy, I can't remember his name, Matthew something. He, had, he used to be a member of a group called the UK VAT Group, and uh, he had an open day, and he had so many golf machines. Uh, he loved golf so, so much. He really did. Andrew, oh, I can't remember his name. Magician he was. Anyway, guys, let's put that uh, in. So what I liked about this game, I'm not great at it, but I do remember it takes a lot of the, all the different um, shoot 'em ups from the day. Also, another thing to remember with this is if you press fire before your bullet has landed, then it's, it sees it stops the bullet firing. But what was good about golf, as I say, it in, took a lot of the different sort of games from the day and put them into one. So you'll finish this and you get a different level. Got him. Next one, Astro Battles. Oh, laser attack. It's the same bullets with this. I'll shoot that for every level. Oh, what was his name? Matt, Matt something. But he loved golf, he did. He got he used to import all the different machines and stuff from the States. He was massive, isn't it? A little bit of Galaxians now. Cool, they're firing more bullets than I'm used to. <laughs> oh look, oh I didn't realise that. You can go up screen, look. You can move up and down to get nearer to them. I don't know if that's the same for every level or just for the Galaxians level. But that's an interesting concept, so you're nearer the target. Oh dear. Come on. Oh, it's the last one. Got him. Whew. Space wall. Okay. They're like TIE Fighters, look. Got him. I'll tell you what, good little game this. Game I haven't played probably since that UK VAC meet I went to all them years ago in Bedford. I'll tell you what, I'm playing that one again. You want to see what level's coming up next, you know? Oh, you can move up screen, but only so far on this one. Why haven't I played this sooner, guys? Or revisited it sooner, should I say? Oh, them old bullets are getting a bit close. Oh, <laughs> don't know why I'm laughing. Oh, come on, Rob. Ah, it takes you through the next level. Right, okay. Oh, you plonker. I'm having a worse game than my first game. Why is that? Oh, he was suicidal. The strawberry alien. I tell you what, that's such good fun. Uh, I, I'm going to play again. And I like the ranking it gives you. Space Cadet and all that. Oh, I'm focusing a bit more now. Matt Garrett. That was his name. Matt Garrett. It come to me. Matt Garrett, yes, that was him. He had a beautiful arcade room. He really did. It was an absolutely amazing room. I wonder what he's doing these days. You sort of lose touch with these people, don't you? I didn't know him that well, but you know, not he nice. He had an, an open house, an invite. Brilliant. Got him. Get that strawberry man before he comes down. He's just stuck there. Yes. I'm doing all right now. Come on, Rob. We're back to the Galaxians. Come on. 
Come on. Aliens, they're not very nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Flagship. I'm sure I've got to hit the, sh the ship in certain areas, or I just generally just keep blasting away at it. but good in the same time, if that makes sense. Oh, you idiot, went the wrong way. Great suggestions, guys. Honestly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you for them suggestions. Any, drop them in the comments. Playing this one for myself now. Now, one of you guys suggested, I think it was Moon Patrol. I can't remember who it is, so I'm not going to play it. But drop in the comments so that I can name you, I could shout you out. Because I think it's unfair if I just play it and I can't remember who, who, who named it. So please just shout. Now I'm playing Nemesis. I had this on the Commodore 64 back in the day. And it's one of them games I really, really like. Um, it's by Konami. It's a brilliant side-scrolling shoot 'em up And I remember the music to this was particularly good. Now Nemesis was also called Gradius. Now my understanding is Nemesis is harder than Gradius. If there's any truth in that, please do let me know, guys. Have you heard something similar? Right, now this one, you've got your power-ups down the bottom there. So you pick these up. I always go for speed first. Get me speed up. And then I usually save up, get a uh, laser. I think I'll go for lasers and then multiples. If, if I can do it. A laser, we'll have a laser. Uh, that laser, laser, good. On a multiple, now we're on a multiple, good. But I tell you what, this, this is a tough shoot em up, but so, so good. I think this was well before I type actually. Oh, oh, <laughs> the problem is, you've got to start sort of all over again and rebuild your power ups, you know. can't hit the rocks either, the mountains and that. So have to be careful going down for them sort of other enemies, or up, shall I say, for them enemies, because they can still get you. I tell you what, I always remember this in the arcades, when you used to visit the arcade, and I think what I, was, I remembered about it more than anything else was probably, it was always in one of them Goliath cabs. You know, one of them cabs that when they're lined up together, they just looked absolutely awesome. And uh, so many arcades back in the day would have, would have them, you know. Oh, two more. Get that. Good. Got, an got another extension going on now. Look. Great power-ups in this. Really great power-ups. Oh, nearly dead then. Right, the music's changing. Which means we're getting one of them nasty old enemies coming along. Here we go. I, I think what I used to do is just tuck myself away in the corner. Oh, 
I'm just pressing to boost. Oh, I've got my shields in the front. They're good. But I haven't got lasers or anything, so could be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah? Oh, I lost, lost my shield. Great game, guy. Do you remember it as Nemesis? And if so, Nemesis Gradius. Have you heard the same as me? Is Gradius easier than Nemesis? I don't actually have the Gradius ROM on here, so I, I can't test it. Put the PS3 on. I'm going back on to Fight Night Round 4. Now, I was playing this last week in the last vlog, so I'm not going to show you a lot of this, guys, because you get the idea. It's just general boxing, but I'm going to play a few games. Then we're going to put something different on, guys. Something a bit different. Oh, yes. See if I can increase, improve my record. Before I get into that fight night, I'm going to grab myself another beer. Uh, beer of choice at the moment. I've, I've got some beers indoors, cases of beer. And little OG is going to come and uh, fill it up for me tomorrow when we film that um, the, the beer against him in the various games. But I'm drinking this at the moment. Zywick or Zywek. It's a Polish beer. It's very, very nice. Uh, it's 5.5% uh, of can. So that's how Stella used to be, guys. So big up the Polish lagers. Let me get to fight night. Joined by a little guest. Look, Leia's popped out to see me in the games room. You right, Leia? <laughs> she loves jumping about out here, exploring. She's been sat on the back of my chair here for the last half hour or so. Here she comes. Come on, up you come. Good girl. She's back in her spot, bless her. There you go, girl. Little Leia's come and joined me in the games room tonight. I'm having a few beers, as you can see, and I've been playing Fight Night. But we're going to choose another game for the PS3, a game that I haven't played or, I don't know, something I fancy. So many great games on this system. I keep banging on and on and on about it. But what should we go for? What should we go for? So many choices, people. Oh, a bit of an RPG or... How about a racing game? Right, so we've got some Need for Speed there. We've got Most Wanted, Pro Street Shift, The Run. But I've also got... Let's have a look. Hayes, Resistance, Rocksmith... Ridge Racer Unbound. Okay. Namco. Ridge, bit of Ridge Racer. Uh, let's go for... Ba -da -da -da. I think I've got Sega Rally, you know. On uh, Yes, I have. There it is on PS3. Let's give this a go. I just had my first race, guys, and I've come six out of six. So I'm hoping I improve this time. Although that was completely sort of a dusty track. Excuse the camera if it goes a bit wobbly, but Leia the cat is deciding to rub herself all around it. Oh, oh come on, Rob, look at the track and ignore the cat. Yeah, thanks for that, Leia. Oh, she's now sat in front of the camera. Oh, well, the cat needs to be happy. It's all about the cat, you know. Oh, mate, I'm just not getting the hang of this at all. Oh, I'm all over the place. Maybe I need a car game with a bit of traction. I think I've got grid up there. I think we've said good things about grid. Oh, I'm not far off them. There he is, look. Come on, Rob, you've got him in your sights. You can do this, son. Leia's watching it. She's not impressed at her dad's driving skills, I don't think. Oh, come on. because it's sort of wobbling all over the place not just the camera <laughs> oh ow oh that's it Leia yeah, you watch the game oh do you know what Leia I don't think you're helping me love <laughs> oh bless her look well, she likes it anyway someone's getting some entertainment out of it <laughs> Sega Rally is a lot harder than, uh, than, than the actual arcade game. Um, maybe I should need to read the manual and work out the best way of breaking and all that. But, you know, I was like a game I just jump straight into. That's the Arcadian in me, you know? Just jump in and play the game. But anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, go off indoors now, have a couple of beers, and I'll fancy a film. Yeah. Now, in the week, I went to the cinema on a Tuesday... Tuesday evening, me and Mrs. OG went to see, uh, it was a Billy Idol gig, uh, concert film. It wasn't bad, actually. It was an hour and a half long. It was pretty good. Quite enjoyed it. Uh, some good films coming out in the cinema as well at the moment. So, uh, 
yeah, definitely go this next week coming up. But let's go indoors, let's find a film to watch. We're watching a Netflix film, uh, The Killer, Michael Fassbender. Um, I'm 15 minutes in, and it's quite intriguing, actually. It's pretty good. I'm not sure where it's going. It's just him telling a story at the moment, just dialogue. But it's, uh, there's something keeping me there, you know what I mean? So, uh, so far, so good. Which is space. Good morning, people. It's Sunday. And a uh, bit of a slow go here, because, I mean, Nick and Josh got up at about half oh, five, I think, to watch that Las Vegas Grand Prix. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't. I need my bed. Uh, so we're a bit later in the day, but we're going to go off down the town. Um, I've got to get some uh, a pint, obviously. That's, that's Sunday, isn't it? I need a pint on a Sunday. Uh, go have a little mooch about. Um, I've also got a, a CEX £20 challenge I'll be shooting for this Friday's video. Yep. Um, if I don't produce something else in between, of course. Um, so I'll be doing that. Uh, I've got to go and clean the games room. Uh, I'm going to be cooking a um, a lovely roast lamb dinner. I do love me lamb. Uh, and, um, yeah, and then later, we're going to get out in the games room, me, little OG, and Mrs. OG. Oh, yes, the three of us. And we're going to film the shout-outs video. Uh, but, as I said earlier, we're going to be playing video games one-on-one -on -one in each other in these games to see who's the best, etc. So it's not just for the people who get shout-outs. There'll be something in there that will appeal to everyone, you know? Yeah. Anyway, down that town. So before my pint, a quick look in my uh, local CEX where I did my £20 challenge and a quick look at the PS4 titles, guys. I know this ain't retro, but I'm still looking out for that Space Hulk tactics. There wasn't one in the nearest copy, actually. I did look up online. There's one copy in Kent. But you know what, I'm no race for it. It's just one of them that when I do find it, I'll be quite happy. It'll put a little spring in my step, so to speak. But this caught me eye here. Was this a D&D &D type game? Or am I getting a little bit confused here? But it looks like my sort of cup of tea. But uh, Icewind Dale, I'm sure that was something to do with the Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game. Or am I wrong? Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. And a quick look in the charity shop. But unfortunately... Nothing in here at all. A few box sets that I was going to look at, but do you know what? The pub was calling, so I went for a pint instead. <laughs> Just filmed that CEX challenge. I have to say, I've got some good little games, actually. I will drop in that video Friday, guys, so cheers. Here's to you. And because Mrs. OG is so nice to me, I bought her a beer. And look, it's a Christmas tree. Happy days. You all set for filming your video later? Good, because you're going to feature. See you then. My lamb is in the oven. The potatoes are peeled. The veggies all prepped. Uh, quick tidy up out here in respect of a bit of a polish because we're coming out to film the um, the shout outs video and gaming video and stuff. Uh, so I'll get that done. Uh, yeah, put a bit of music on, I think, while I do that. So some music while I do my weekly polish. Megadeth, Rust in Peace. This features that great song there, look. Holy Wars, The Punishment Jew. What a song that was, honestly. Brilliant, brilliant song. What an opener for any album. Megadeth, Rust in Peace. Let's get this one rolling, guys. Absolutely amazing opening track on this album. Really, really is. I'm thinking about swapping out them album covers up there, actually. I might just put this one in there, you know? Because it'd be rude not to. Here we go, Megadeth. What a tune! No new comics this week, but I flipped out a couple of the uh, album covers there. Looks off. I've added the Megadeth album, Rust in Peace, and Iron Maiden, Aces High. Great bit of artwork, that one, isn't it? Very British. Oh, yes. Happy days. So, I've just served this up. I've been slaving doing the roast spuds, the, the oh, loads of lamb, bit of Yorkie, and, and some cauliflower, and they're moaning. Where's the green? Well, I'll tell you what, you want green to do it yourself. I'm not a fan of vegetables, obviously. That concludes the weekend vlog, people. Oh, yes, Sunday night. Oh, soon we'll be back at work, guys, won't we, eh? <laughs> Till next weekend, of course. Uh, 
I had a great evening out here, actually. I had little OG out, and we've been doing some versus games against each other uh, for the uh, the shout-outs video that will be coming soon. Um, got to get that filmed. Uh, got a, a, a video dropping Friday, which will be a CEX £20 challenge. Did all right with that, actually, guys. Uh, quite happy with what I got. Uh, but anyway, game of the week. What is it? Now, this is going to surprise a few of you. I bet a load of you are guessing, oh, well, straight away, it's going to be uh, this could be that new Mario game, isn't it? No, guys, it's not. Do you know what it is? We're going back, guys. Uh, Phoenix and Golf. It's between them, honestly. I've not played them in so many years that it was just great to replay them and revisit them and... Uh, Games like that I just love because you can just drop in and out. You don't have to give it a lot of your time. Don't get me wrong, Mario is just brilliant. It's it's a work of genius. It always is, though. It's um, Nintendo. It's the one thing they do brilliantly, you know. Cutesy, great gameplay. They just pull it off every single time. And don't get me wrong, they haven't failed with this new Mario game. It's it's brilliant. And it will sit next to my bed and it will be played most evenings before, before I go to the land of Nod. But um, anyway... I'm filming a few more videos. I've got a versus video going there. Look, I'll be doing a versus video. Yeah, I'm sure we all know that game. We'll be looking at the, the home console systems and all that of that in a future release. But anyway, guys, that's it from me, the OG Duffy for this weekend. It's been a very good weekend, as always, because I do love my weekends. Look after yourselves, like, share, subscribe if you don't really do so. But comments, guys, always comment. What pickups have you had late? What you been up to? Anything exciting? Let me know. What films have you seen of late that you would recommend for me? Oh dear. I love weekends. Did you know that? Cheers guys. It's to the next one. See you then.